Hello, and welcome to the video for Sick. There are a few things I would love for you to know about Sick, either before or after you've read it. Either way, it doesn't really matter. The first thing is that the first quarter of the book or so is actually based on very true events. Not so much the zombies, as far as I know, um, but a lot of the other things are actually very, very rooted in reality. Number one, for example, the riot that is mentioned. That's a real event. That really happened, and there are 2,000 people who could attest to it because they either saw it or participated in it. That was a real thing. The fence that goes around the school, also a real thing. I have photos. It's still there. It was there when I went to school. It is still there. That's a real thing. Um, the Most importantly, uh, the racism and homophobia and things like that that are discussed and mentioned and worked over in the story are an accurate reflection of what it was like going to that school while I was there. Um, and... I could be totally wrong on this, but I'm going to go out on a limb and suggest that maybe these things, racism and homophobia, things like that, still happen on high school campuses all over the country. I could be totally wrong about that. Maybe everything's totally fine now. You tell me. The most important thing about that, though, to realize, again, whether you've read the book yet or not, is that there is a difference between plot and theme. Now, to go all English class on you, plot is sort of what happens in the book. That's, you know, the action, the adventure, and the gore, and the zombies, and rah, and that's great. The theme is what it's about. There's a big difference between those two. Um, so if you're reading sick just for the action, the adventure, the gore, the zombies, whatever, that's cool, and I, I, I hope you enjoy it just on that level alone. It is supposed to be entertainment after all. But there is this theme, and the theme that I really wanted to you know, a study in the book is this idea of the other. What constitutes the other? Why do we treat people as the other? Um, one of the reasons I told the story from outside of the drama department's, uh, you know, normal core of kids is so that you could see the drama kids from a different point of view. I'm a drama kid. That's not what we called ourselves, but that's what we were. Um, <laughs> and we needed to see kind of that group, that culture from a different point of view. That's why Brian and Chad were so essentially not part of the drama department. Um, <clears throat> but it really is about those things. Those were things that are very, I very intentionally did include, very intentionally wanted people to discuss. And I think most people have, have gleaned that theme out of the story. Doesn't mean you have to like it. That's totally cool. Um, but that was what I was definitely going for. That was definitely the theme that the whole novel was about. Here's the thing about horror, whether it's on film or in a book or any other format, horror is almost always, 99% of the time, horror is about something else. It's never just about the ghost or the haunted house or the zombie or the monster or the vampire or whatever. There's always some other theme at work. There's always some other thing that the sort of the packaging of horror is trying to um, dissemble or dissect, if you will. And for Sick, what I really want to talk about was how we treat people differently and why do we treat people differently and can we stop? <laughs> can we please, please, please stop treating people differently? That would be great. That was my hope and goal. Um, so in any case, those were some of the things, some of the thoughts I had about the book. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you leave a review on Amazon because that's super helpful. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got for sick. Feel free to shoot me an email or leave me a message uh, and we can talk some more about it.